But if we don't get rid of a seeing it my way mentality, we can never see it through the lens of God. You can't be wearing two types of glasses at once. If you did, it probably would be extra weird. I've never tried it. Uh, what do they call you, four eyes? What would that be, six eyes? Hey, six eyes. You know, you got a pair on top of a pair. How many have ever had a pair of sunglasses on top of their head, and then they had a pair on their eyes, and they had two pairs going because they forgot the pair that was on top of their head? What's happened to me? Those are sunglasses, but I'm like, where am I? One time I had like two pairs on, and I'm still like doing this. <laughs> but you can't be looking through two lenses at one time. It will be crossed, blurry, out of focus, and give you a headache. So until we learn to see it God's way, we keep holding on to seeing it my way. We won't ever see it different. And so often our lens is what blurs what God is wanting to show us. Our lens being my lens, the, the way I see the world, the way I see this type of behavior, the way I see the way they look and what I think of how they look. And, and even though, you know, maybe God would say something different, I see it my way and that's really my way or the highway. Does anybody know somebody like that in the mirror this morning? Got you there. Or somebody else. Both. Both Sometimes. It's subconscious most of the time. And deep down, we're refusing to even consider a different perspective. Well, I'm not going to change that because then I would fall to their ways. We're not asking you to change your moral compass based on God's word. We're asking you to hear the cry of somebody crying. And there is a monstrous difference there because when we keep seeing it our way, we stay separated from even ever talking to anybody that's different from us. And that does not win people closer to God. Now, there's a lot of different ways that conversation can go, and there's a lot of things that are toxic, and I won't get into all that. You don't want to just go anywhere, talk anywhere when it's destroying you. This is God's job. But as a Christian church, if we're not trying to get people in that aren't like us, then what are we doing? What are we doing? It's the seeing it my way mentality. It's so easy to see the flaws in others, and it's hard to see it in ourselves. Why is that? Because we're not watching ourselves. Right? Like, oh, hmm, I am watching myself. That's weird. Is that what the side of my head looks like? Did I do my hair okay? Hey, I'm just checking my angles, you know. You know, like when we're getting ready for church. You know, in, in, in real time, though, we're not really watching ourselves like this. But I can tell you right now that when I see it this way, it's different to me. When I watch it on YouTube, look at my eyes. Look how tired I look. Those back. Am I messing with the lens right now? My head's stretching. See, see, what I see is completely different than what I feel right now. And as soon as I see myself... My thoughts change. And so that's why it's really hard to see the plank in your eye because you're not really looking at you when you're having a plank toting around St. Charles County. You don't notice the plank until you look in the mirror and go, what is that? Gray hair. Oh, my Lord Jesus. That's why it's so easy to see it in somebody else and so hard to see it in ourselves. Because unless you are inwardly focused on what's going on, you won't ever seek the change. And so that is why seeing it my way stays on people for their life. Until they look and go, I don't like what I see. It doesn't look like does anybody have a good and a bad side when they're taking photos? Me too. I know I'm such a like diva or whatever. We used to take sermon photos. Can I can I can I just talk to y'all like like a pastor who loves y'all? We used to take sermon photos and Cameron would 
back before we had like any people or like lighting, we would super, we would take the shot in the hall at the high school. And I'd be like, like, like I was preaching, Mike, I know it's corny, but we had to have a good thumbnail, okay? So I would fake the shot so that we had a thumbnail because we didn't even have lighting or nothing. And so um, I said, Cameron, left side, buddy, just the left side, just the left side. Do not shoot the right side, Cameron, in Jesus' name. No, I wouldn't be that mean. But you can ask him. I'd be, you ask Pastor Jeff, how's he like his picture? He goes, oh, on the left side. It's seven years of this. And it, it's because when we see what we see, we don't like it. But you wouldn't know until you look at it. And so it's easy to coast through life not ever looking at that you need to take a shower sometimes and that you're stinking up the room or that you need to change your clothes once in a while or that because you, you need to brush your hair. Like you wouldn't know until you look. Are you getting this? I'm not talking about your hair. I'm talking about your heart. But I know y'all care about your hair. What if we cared about our heart that way? That is what the lens is and how we're using it, and what lens we're using. But that's why it's so hard. So we know it's hard. You can't walk around with a mirror all day in public. People will think you're a jerk because it's weird. It's like wearing sunglasses inside, like people think you're a rock star weird. You have to take your spiritual lens, though, or, or selfie camera or whatever you got to do, and you got to keep checking it once in a while. In here. Not here. It's a joke trying to get your attention. We're talking about in here. That's what I'm looking at. That's why it's hard. You don't see what's in here unless you get spiritually connected with him. And then you desire to start changing the inside. Because really the outside appearance is the fruit of what's going on on the inside. If people, people know health, and when you're not right inside, your physical appearance does what? Gets very deteriorated, worn, tired. You want to feel healthy and look shimmering with your collagen supplements? You got to eat right. Because what goes on the inside is what comes out. So if I want to see the way God sees, do you really think it's about me correcting everybody? It's about me letting God correct me. And then he just does the rest. The rest is the byproduct of changing your lens. 